Hello guys, this is Kent from Killer RC. I'm just messing around here in the shop. Got a cheap uh, HPI radio, FM radio, and uh, FM receiver. Some high-tech 6-volt servos, a 5745 and a 5755. These have both been out for two or three years or more. They're both 6-volt servos. And I got them hooked up to an adjustable power supply. Got a Killer RC inline fuse holder in case one of these servos should decide to to short circuit. Our uh, fuse here will blow and it'll keep us from uh, melting any wiring or uh, messing up the receiver or anything. So let's play around with the voltage here. See if anything interesting happens. So we got six volts there. All right, nothing special going on. Let's bump this up to seven volts. Can tell they're a little faster. They're both Solid servos, not jittering around or nothing. All right, let's bump this up to 7.4 volts, which would be like a half-charged two-cell LiPo. All right, pretty speedy there. Let's bump it up to 8 volts. Pretty speedy for large scale servos. Receiver's still doing fine. Not hot. Servos are still cool to the touch. Let's bump this up to 8.4, which would be like a fully charged two cell LiPo. Let's see what happens. Pretty speedy. Let's drop that down to six volts just to see the difference. A lot slower. And it'd be even worse if we had them hooked up to some linkage and some uh, tires. See that extra two and a half volts you get from a two cell lipo really speeds things up. Let's go past 8.4. Let's take it to 8.9, which is higher than a two cell lipo would ever go. problems, nothing's hot, nothing's smoking, of course there's no load on the servos like there would be on a car, but uh, we're not really testing that right now, so the servos aren't frying, let's go back to 8.4 and just hold the, uh, hold the servos fully locked for a little bit, see what happens. Oh, that was pretty boring. Still cool to the touch. All right. No problems running the 6-volt radio and 6-volt servos on 8.4 volts. So, uh, you know, there might be guys out there that have burned up servos, 6-volt servos running them on LiPos, but uh, 
I've never had a problem with it. I've uh, I've ran two cell lipos on uh, six volt radios and servos for a couple years with no problems. There's a slight risk there, but um, I think the advantages of speedier, stronger servos is, is worth the slight risk. So, thanks for watching this video.